The Cobra spy ring was an espionage ring that operated during the Revolutionary War, created at the request of George Washington to find out the movements of the British troops and where they stored their ammunition. And the Culpa ring was the most effective spy ring during the Revolutionary War by using very simple methods, but very effective methods. To understand why there was a Culper spy ring, first you have to understand that the Americans lost the Battle of Long Island. Just a month after we had declared our independence, all of New York City, all of Long Island was controlled by the British. And so if George Washington was going to know what was going on in New York City or anywhere on Long Island, he needed spies. So we are at the grave of Abraham Woodhull, also known as Samuel Culper Sr. Simple farmer, the least likely person you would suspect as being a spy. He goes to Caleb Brewster, he's a whaleboat captain. He agrees to be a courier across the Long Island Sound. He needs Austin Rowe because Austin has a pub and he's able to go in and out of New York to get supplies. Robert Townsend was a merchant in New York City and he was in a perfect position to provide intelligence to Washington. Culper Sr., Abraham Woodhull, and Culper Jr., Robert Townsend. Those were their spy names. The information from Robert that was coming out of Manhattan would travel by a courier like Austin Rowe all the way out to Setauket. Abraham Woodhull would hand the letters off to the whaleboat captain, Lieutenant Caleb Brewster. He would sail them in his whaleboat across Long Island Sound to Fairfield, Connecticut. In Connecticut, the letters would be handed off to horse riders who would ride wherever George Washington was. Each word would be represented by a number. And that was a way that the culpers could substitute a number for a word. So Robert had a number, George Washington had a number, Abraham Woodhull had a number. So unless you had his dictionary, you couldn't decode it. Invisible inks were being used by the British. They were lemon juice or lime juice. What George Washington wanted was something that would not appear by simply heating the elements. So he hired a man named Dr. James Jay, the older brother of John Jay, uh, who was a doctor who had access to medicinal ingredients to create a sympathetic stain that was highly unusual but very secure. By knowing what uh, Dr. J had access to. But we could narrow it down to just a few ingredients that would have been accessible at the time. He used something uh, called gallic acid, which came from the gall nut. And he found that ferrous sulfite, when rubbed over it, would make it appear. This was almost like magical. There's another female member of the spy ring that a lot of people talk about, Agent 355. 355 in the Culper Code meant lady. It's a letter that is written by Abraham Woodhull in 1779. He only mentions this mysterious lady once, but I don't think that there's any way we can determine who that person really was. And some people even want to say that Anna Strong is Agent 355. And there was a person who lived in Setauket whose name was Anna Strong, and people can visit her grave. They need Anna because she is able to see from her property on the neck where Caleb Brewster is on the Long Island Sound and in the harbors. So she would hang her clothesline, it would be a black petticoat if she saw Caleb Brewster in town, and then the number of handkerchiefs hanging on the line would signal the Woodhull where he should go meet Caleb Brewster. Unfortunately, 
As nice as that story is, it isn't supported by the culprit letters themselves. And if you can't find evidence that backs up your story, you just have to understand that it's a legend. If you want to know about the culprit spies, you have to read the culprit spy letters. There are over 190 existing culper spy letters. The culper spy ring was an integral part of the success of the Army of the Revolution. And through misinformation, they were able to trick the British into thinking that Washington was attacking New York. So the entire fleet actually turned around. And then the French finally agreed to help us, and they were going to land in Newport, Rhode Island. The only reason that that French fleet was able to get in safely without being attacked by the British was because of the work of the Culper spy ring. It was recognized even at that time that the dependence on intelligence was what gave the Patriots the edge. A British general said that Washington did not beat us militarily, he simply outspied us.